Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out the latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11, which is KB5043145, and I posted on that, and that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. But just to let you know that once again, unfortunately, that Microsoft now has updated their known issues health dashboard page to say that it has received customer reports of devices restarting multiple times or becoming irresponsive with blue or green screens after trying to install the September 2024 non-security preview Windows update, which is this update as mentioned. So basically, computers are crashing, and this is now an official known issue after Microsoft had received reports. Now, according to the reports, Microsoft says that some devices automatically open the automatic repair tool after repeated reboot attempts. And then the tool tries to diagnose and resolve common issues that might prevent your device from booting properly. And in some cases, once again, BitLocker recovery can also be triggered. So unfortunately, this is taking place. And it seems that with... Um, the updates that roll out, especially the optional updates that roll out, there are always issues with the updates where sometimes these updates cause more problems than they are trying to resolve because the optional updates that roll out near the end of the month, as you may well know, are bug fix updates that can also include a couple of new features. Now, Microsoft says regarding the rebooting and the blue or green screens after installing the update that they are currently investigating the issue and we'll provide an update when more information is available. Now, that's not just the only problem. There are widespread reports during the rounds online that the update has also caused some users' USB ports and per peripherals connected to their PCs, like your keyboard and your mouse, to stop working after the update has been installed. And there's also reports during the rounds that WSL2, which is Windows Subsystem for Linux, so has also stopped working on some devices. So this update seems to be causing a lot of headaches for a lot of users. Now, as mentioned, KB5043145 is an optional update. And as I always say on the channel, only install optional updates if you are experiencing any issues on your PC. And this is the main reason I say it, because these updates are known during... You know, in my experience and the history of updates, the optional updates that roll out near the end of the month are preview updates because if you don't install the update, it will be rolled out in the next month's Patch Tuesday update. So that'll be, as an example with this update, that'll be um, those improvements will be rolled out and bug fixes will be rolled out on the 8th of October, which will be Patch Tuesday, the second Tuesday of the month. And... It's only available for users who have the option, get the latest updates as soon as they are available because it'll be downloaded and installed automatically if you have this toggle turned on. That's why I always say, keep this toggle turned off and only install optional updates um, if you're having any problems with your PC because they will be rolled out. Most of the improvements will be rolled out the following month for Patch Tuesday. So unfortunately, KB5043145, is causing issues and obviously if I get any more info I'll keep you guys posted and just on a quick side note um, if you can obviously if you can't get into your computer you won't really be able to do this but if you can then and you are experiencing these issues mentioned in the video then just uninstall the update it's optional so it, it's not a compulsory mandatory update so you would just head to update history Scroll right down to the bottom of the page, click on uninstall updates, find the relevant update, and click the uninstall toggle and um, uninstall the update and then restart your device and that should resolve the issues until, as mentioned, Microsoft gets back to us or rolls out a fix sooner than later. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.